Abigail. Abigail is the brand new 2024 horror film that I was really looking forward to because I saw this trailer. I text my friend and I went, holy crap, this looks like a lot of fun. This one stars Melissa Pereira and Catherine Newton as the lead two stars to me. Yes, there are other stars in this film, but literally these are the only two I wanted to see because I'm not all that upset about the Scream drama anymore. I'm upset that Melissa Barrera isn't in the Scream franchise, but I'm very happy that she is still with the uh, with uh, the guys who wrote it and directed it. That's very, very nice to see. The little girl in this film is freaking phenomenal. This little girl portrays this vampire, this this 12-year-old ballerina, and she's the daughter of a powerful underworld figure. All they have to do, all these criminals have to do is watch her overnight, and they get a $50 million ransom. That's what they're trying to collect is a $50 million ransom, but also they didn't know that she was going to be a vampire. So she's taking them off one by one. The capers start to dwindle, and they discover the mounting horror that they're locked inside the house with no normal little girl. This movie is a freaking blast. And oh my God, it is phenomenal. We do have somebody here in the chat. We got my bud. Oh my good buddy, Cam. Just got done talking to you, bud. Welcome into the stream. Check him out. He's almost at 200 subscribers. Let's get those numbers up, guys. But Abigail is a phenomenal little horror film. I saw this with my girlfriend. We were the only people in the theater we had maybe a good 10, 15 people in the theater. So not a massive amount of people, but I enjoyed this film overall. I just thought that the film copied some of the kills from their other film, the director's other film, Ready or Not. Not going to spoil anything, but there's a couple kills that really did feel like Ready or Not. If you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Melissa Brera and Catherine Newton deliver phenomenal, phenomenal performances. Uh, we you got another chat here. Cam says, Abigail was bloody lovely. It was freaking phenomenal. We have a killer performance by our lead girl here. Our lead girl here's name uh, is Alicia Weir. Alicia Weir is going to be a name for many, many years. Many, many years in the horror franchise and in the movie world because she delivers a phenomenal performance, probably one of the best childhood performances I've ever seen. This little girl can go from sweet and innocent to creepy as hell in a minute. This movie delivered everything I wanted. However, it started to drag a little bit about midway through. I knew where this was going to go. I knew who the final girl was going to be. After we got to the uh, scene where the father shows up, that's where it really started to drag more. I thought you could have cut that scene out unless you're trying to get a sequel, which they might want a sequel for this film, and that's perfectly fine. I'm down for a sequel. My girlfriend is fine for the sequel. The guy who plays the father, who plays Abigail's father, she loved that. She popped in the theater. She went, oh my God, perfect casting, perfect casting, perfect casting. I loved that. She was happy. I was happy. We had a bloody good time with this. Just the pacing of this film about midway through didn't work for me. And I did not like the fact that they copied the kills from Ruddy or Not. Overall, a really bloody good time. Great set design. Phenomenal performances. Bloody gore that delivered everything I wanted. And I ended up giving this one a 4 out of 5 on my letterbox. So to, on my grading scale, that's going to add up to about... I'm going to give this one a good B, uh, B plus. I enjoyed this one. 